It's becoming increasingly regular, unfortunately, in Bangladesh, the fourth blogger so far. And there seems to be a clear pattern here as well in all four uh, cases, all four, four bloggers uh, killed just this year. They were all writing against Islamic fundamentalism. Uh, they were all killed uh, out in the open, very publicly. They were slaughtered, hacked to death with machetes and cleavers. Uh, so this is a very disturbing trend, Christy. And in this case, uh, the blogger was actually home uh, right after his afternoon prayers when four to five men, police say, went into his house and hacked him uh, to death. He used to write about women's rights. He used to write against uh, communal violence, against attacks on Hindus in Bangladesh. Uh, but he often wrote uh, with a different name. So this is, a, uh, it's, this is something that bloggers in Bangladesh have often uh, shown concern about, that a lot of these bloggers are writing with different names, yet they are being found, they are being identified, and they are being attacked. Why is this happening? Uh, well, the Reporters Without Borders actually uh, said that a group in Bangladesh put out a hit list of, of, of about 84 bloggers uh, that they want to attack. This could be because there's been a series of protests that students and uh, bloggers have been organizing in Bangladesh against, uh, against war crimes from 1971. This was a war that Bangladesh fought against Pakistan. So there could be a link here, but still very, very unclear clear but a very disturbing trend.